Okay, so you are wondering how much it costs to live in Grand Junction, Colorado. Well, this video is gonna be all about what it costs to live right here in Grand Junction, and you're not gonna wanna miss it, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Robert Hayes and along with my wife Christy Hayes, we are the Hayes Home Group right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And today we're gonna to talk about the cost of living in Grand Junction, Colorado, from housing to restaurants, to gas prices, to health insurance. And we're gonna put side by side a comparison of what we pay here to neighboring cities and states to the north and to the south. And make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that little bell. We're doing a ton of videos in Grand Junction all over town. So if you don't wanna miss any of the content that we're gonna be posting, again, please make sure you hit subscribe. Okay, so let's start with the number one topic that I'm sure is on everyone's mind. What is the housing cost in Grand Junction, Colorado? Well, right now in the United States, the average home price is right around, let's call it $230,000. As you can see on this chart, based on the research and the data that I've pulled, Grand Junction is really right there with a national average. If you look to our neighbor to the east, Denver, Colorado, we are about 50% below what the average home cost is, just 250 miles away. In just a little bit, I'm gonna actually show you a map of Grand Junction and the surrounding communities in the Grand Valley and show you the different price points of each area so you have an idea of what that looks like. Okay, we've talked about purchasing a home. What about renting? Well, if you look at this chart, Grand Junction for a studio, one bedroom, all the way to three bedroom is well below the national average and even Colorado for that matter when it comes to cost of living for rent. Now, of course, there are certain areas in town that are gonna to be a little less than what you're showing here, and even a little bit more in certain areas, so it all just depends on the area that you're looking for as far as renting is concerned. But as I always say, it's actually cheaper right now to purchase a home than it is to rent in a lot of cases. Okay, so we've covered housing from rent and owning a home. Let's talk about utilities. Your basic electric gas, sewer, garbage, all that fun stuff is gonna be right about $100 a month. The same is what the national average is showing. Now, when it comes to internet service, same about $55, $60 a month. National average is right there. Give us a call, make a comment below, and we'll let you know which service provider is gonna be the best for you depending on the area that you're choosing to live in. Okay, so you've purchased a home or you've rented out a home. How are you gonna to get to work? Well, the great thing about the Grand Valley, which is where Grand Junction and some surrounding communities are, it's about 20 minutes from end of valley to the other end. 15 to 20 minutes is all. You're never gonna be in a traffic jam here. Yes, you're gonna have some inner city traffic, uh, but for the most part, you're never gonna find any issues getting around town at any time of the day. Okay, but you don't wanna drive. You have a mountain bike or a road bike. This is, after all, a world-renowned area for biking. So we do have plenty of paved trails. There's a riverfront bike trail that you can certainly take into town. You're gonna commonly see a lot of people riding their bikes here in town. And if you don't wanna ride your bike or drive your car, we have GVT, Grand Valley Transit. It's a bus service, very reliable. will take you anywhere you wanna go. They do offer discounts if you're a senior citizen, student discounts, so you can certainly go that route as well. As far as gas prices, again, we're right there with the national average. Just the other day at Sam's Club, I found premium gas for $2.63 a gallon, which is right there with what Denver's showing on gasbuddy.com. So you're not gonna see a lot of difference there when it comes to gas. Okay, so you're going to work, and what do you work for? Well, you work so you can go out and enjoy the great food, the distilleries and the wineries that we have here in the Grand Valley. In fact, we have the most wineries in the entire state of Colorado right here in the Grand Valley. Why is that? Well, the climate is very cool in the evenings, warm during the day, and it's a perfect breeding ground for your grapes. We have the world's famous peaches. Sorry, Georgia, we have the best peaches here in Palisade. 
So that's why you're gonna find just the most incredible, ripe, delicious fruit that you'll ever wanna eat. So you are going out to dinner. What is that gonna cost you? Right here in Grand Junction, the average cost for a you know not so fancy meal is gonna be about 20 bucks per person, 40 to $45. You throw in a spirit or a beer in there, you're gonna be right at 50 bucks. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about here is healthcare. We're actually about the same as everybody else. Just don't move north to Wyoming. If you can really help it, it looks like the healthcare cost in that state is pretty high up there. But the great thing about Grand Junction is we do have what they call a concierge health service, Appleton Clinics here in town, $99 a month. That's two kids also that are included, $10 per kid after two to be on their concierge plan. And they cover basically your, your normal run of the mill health concerns when you go to a doctor's office for a visit. They even cover x-rays with that $99 a month as well. So it's a great supplement to have with your regular insurance if you have a company sponsored plan or if you're gonna go out on your own and seek out your own insurance, entrepreneur, realtor, you're gonna have no hard times finding very basic coverage at a pretty affordable price. Okay, so let's take a look at this map of Grand Junction and the surrounding communities. As you can see, kind of the lighter orange is gonna be all the homes that are gonna be at or even below the national average for the price of a home. If you go off to the west a little bit, a town called Fruta, it's about five minutes away. It's a very up and coming little community, lots of brand new developments going in, nice, beautiful subdivisions. You're gonna be, again, right at the national average. You go off east to Palisade, wine country, you're gonna definitely have a little tick up as far as the, the average cost of a home, just for the simple fact that you're gonna have a lot of property and land to go with that in most cases. So there's gonna be a little bit of a premium for that. And then you go over to the darker shaded area, that's the Redlands, kind of a premier community. It's the uh, kind of the highest elevation community in the Grand Valley. You're gonna have the exquisite views of the Grand, uh, the Colorado National Monument and the entire valley below in a lot of spots. It's still something that is very affordable and you're gonna, again, have those wonderful views. So there you have it. That's the cost of living in Grand Junction, Colorado. The main point that I wanna make sure everyone understands is the housing is so much less than our neighboring states, Denver, if you go even south to Texas, California, you're gonna be paying a lot less in housing, which is the biggest expense that you're ever gonna have. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any comments, please comment below. And again, we would love it if you would hit the subscribe button, click the little bell. We're doing videos all over town, all the time, and we certainly don't want you to miss them. Thanks so much, talk to you soon.